Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Tofik, and I'm the manager of solutions engineering here at Kion. I'd like to welcome you to this conversation around the Kion application. Kion is an automation platform designed to give organizations the visibility and control needed to scale their cloud operations. Kion was built to help cloud ops teams rapidly scale governance by default by setting policies, permissions, and rules to control cloud security, identity, and spend automatically across multiple clouds, organizations, and accounts. Simply put, Kion makes it easier, less complex, and less frustrating to get things done in the cloud. Throughout this conversation, we will highlight many of the benefits of Kion. So when you first log into the Kion application, you are greeted with this customizable and persona-based dashboard designed to give you quick context around your cloud estate. You can see how your accounts are spending, your overall compliance and financial postures, and easily drill down into your most important workloads and your most access reports or federate into your cloud consoles with just a single click. As you'll see throughout the application, our goal is simple. By standardizing and unifying data and management across your multi-cloud presence, we give cloud ops teams the visibility and control they need to be better by default. So as a user, when I log in to start my day, I can leverage my existing identity provider to get to the Kion dashboard where I'm presented with context around my cloud presence. And as soon as I'd like, I can jump into the AWS console and I'm taken to the native AWS experience. I can do the same for Azure by choosing an Azure subscription. And again, I'm dropped into the native Azure portal and maybe I'd like to start my day with Google so I can click on that and I'm now in the Google Cloud Platform. The beauty of what I just demonstrated isn't just that I got to the native cloud consoles with three clicks, but as we'll see later on in this conversation, I've been granted least privilege access to the services and resources that I need to be effective in my role. So one of the key aspects within the Kion application is this concept of an organizational chart. This is a foundational component designed to reflect your overall cloud hierarchy, spanning AWS, Azure, Google, and Oracle across their various fabrics and any number of payers, tenants, or organizations that you might have. There's no limit to the depth or breadth of this chart, and it's built on two main components, OUs and projects. OUs act as containers for other OUs, projects, funding, and policy, and then projects are the smallest unit of organization, and this is where the cloud accounts live. The overall hierarchy that is built here is designed to give you visibility and control into your cloud estate and to control access, financial health, and posture, and how it aligns to budgets and continuous compliance across cloud providers or organizations. So here at the very top of the organization, you see company A, and as you can see, we have this object called cloud rules. Cloud rules are a unified construct that allows you to provision and control cloud-specific resources and set guardrails across AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So here at the highest level of the organization, we have an organizational-wide policy limiting cloud access to specific approved regions, as this may be typical of what your organization would consider their non-negotiables. So as you can see that cloud rules get inherited at each level, tailoring policy to specific functions and workloads. As you drill down to specific areas of the organization that have specialized requirements, such as biomedical research OU, you can layer on additional controls to adhere to these specialized requirements. As you can see, the biomedical research OU inherits all the policies from above, but also has local cloud rules such as restricting non-HIPAA approved services and a specialized account configuration. Now, if we were to dive a little deeper into the biomedical research OU, we see asthma research application consisting of a development environment, production environment, and other SDLC environments. Once again, you notice that all four projects inherit the rules from above. However, the production project also has cost controls in place to restrict SKUs and EC2 instances to ones that are less than $2 an hour. So cloud rules are designed to be flexible enough to deploy infrastructure, govern policy and compliance, manage cost, and baseline accounts. So if we look at a specific project, like our production one, we can see the different components that build up a Kion project, which is aligned to any combination of AWS accounts, Azure subscription or resource groups, Google projects, or Oracle accounts. So first we have the overview page, which provides project metadata with an activity feed of what changes have been made, an inventory of the resources in your accounts, a list of principals who have admin permissions or even the ability to become admins, and labels which can be used to dimension your spend reports and also aid in your account automation workflows. Moving over to the financials tab, here we have a visual that gives us quick insight into the budgeted amount and how this project is currently spending against that and where it should be based on the current date. 
We then have the ability to drill into various spend reports while easily adjusting options for this report's time frame, spend data type, and dimension letting me zero in on the exact reporting elements I'm looking for. You can also filter this report by other attributes like account, service, cloud provider, billing source, or filter for cloud provider tags or Kion labels to drill further down into your spend. If I were to filter by service, we can see the specific services and what their individual spend is. In this example, we have a multi-cloud, multi-account setup, so you can see the AWS, Google, Azure, and Oracle resources. If you wanted to dive into a particular service, we can click on it directly from the graph, and we can get further detail into EC2, which happens to be the top spending service in this instance. The top spending instance type, the total number of resources aligned to a specific usage type, and if we click over to the resource data, we can actually pinpoint the resource ID that is generating the spend in the account. Going to the Accounts tab, we can see the various accounts that are attached. As I mentioned earlier, this is a multi-cloud project, so we see here an AWS account, Azure EA subscription, Azure CSP resource group, a Google project, and an Oracle account. So we've discussed the financials, which are essential from a reporting perspective and provide a ton of valuable information, but just visibility lends itself to more of a reactive approach, and our goal with Kion is to be proactive with everything that we do, and that's where enforcements come in. Enforcements is the ability to take automated actions based on various triggers. Enforcements can be defined at the project level or even target a specific service, and they begin with a selection of a time frame. At the basic level, we can send notifications to users or user groups that will display in the UI and can be sent via email. And we can also apply an overburn badge to provide a visual indicator that something needs attention. At the other end of the spectrum, we can apply cloud rules to take actions in the accounts, like removing the ability for a user to stand up any new resources, or invoking code to back up existing data and terminate resources, or even use a webhook to kick off workflows in external systems to request additional funding. And by the way, everything you saw with respect to the financials and enforcements can be done at any level of the OU structure. Last but not least, with respect to the FinOps aspects of Kion, we have savings opportunities which are designed to give you continuous feedback around which resources you may be able to right-size to save money or just delete as they've overstayed their welcome. You can view the details around a particular finding and quickly jump into the cloud account to address the finding and even terminate the resources directly from Kion. We have a growing list of checks that we offer customers for both right-sizing and decommissioning, and we intentionally designed this to work with a simple action of enabling the applicable checks with no additional configuration necessary. So security and compliance in Kion, or as we like to call it, continuous compliance, is designed to not only be preventative, but also reactive. In the ever-changing landscape of cloud, it's important to adopt a better by default approach that enables you to establish financial and security guardrails from day one, while also providing continuous feedback on your current state with the ability to auto-remediate. Kion ships out of the box with coverage for several compliance programs and the ability to customize and clone the underlying assets to meet your organizational needs. So the cloud rules that we mentioned earlier are the initial preventative and baselining measures that can be leveraged from Kion to standardize your accounts, put in necessary guardrails and configurations, and ensure that your cloud accounts are better governed by default in all respects. In addition to that, we provide the ability to define granular permissions for users within Kion itself, and also as they federate into the native consoles through the use of cloud access roles. Cloud access roles can be inherited from higher level OUs or be defined locally within the projects. There are several options for cloud access roles, including user, service, account, and custom policy-based roles. Access types can also be specified, such as web console, short-term or long-term access keys. You can choose which users or groups have access to a particular role and selectively apply guardrails based on desired cloud providers. Policies, roles, boundaries, and session tags can be mapped for your users. As users log into Kion, they can jump into their native consoles while being fully governed by the guardrails set by the organization. As mentioned earlier, the cloud evolves far too quickly for preventative guardrails to be sufficient in ensuring that you meet your cloud ops requirements, and that's where the continuous aspect of our compliance approach comes into play. The compliance engine allows for many ways to run and consolidate security findings, starting at the level of a compliance check. Within a compliance check, you can specify whether you want to leverage our engine, ingest external findings, or use our integrations with Tenable SC or Security Hub. 
Within the policy body, you can customize the service or resource you want to scan, the conditions that would qualify as a violation, what metadata would be most useful for you to see, and whether you would like Kaya to take care of the issue as soon as it's found. These checks are then rolled up into a cloud rule, making the Kion cloud rule a powerful object that can ensure guardrails are put in place, and you can confidently sit back and know that if there is an issue, we'll alert you, or even better, we'll simply take care of it. So automation orchestration from a Kion lens. As you can see within the organizational chart, you have the ability to quickly visualize your entire cloud estate while gaining control and context from a policy, compliance, and financial perspective. But what would you need to do to get started? Well, you have the ability to either create new cloud accounts from Kion or ingest existing accounts from the various cloud providers. With creating new cloud accounts, you get to choose your provider, which flavor of account you would like, how many accounts you would like vended, and where you'd like the account in the Kion org chart, and within minutes you would have access to your new accounts. You have similar control over your existing accounts and can choose which ones you'd like managed by Kion. So the idea is that your entire cloud account lifecycle can be managed from the platform. A user requests a cloud account, which Kion would vend for you. And then simply by associating the account to a Kion project, all the cloud ops features that we've discussed here fall into place. The account has a defined budget that's being tracked against. Current spend and savings opportunities visibility is in place. Financial enforcements are ready to fire when called upon. The policies and guardrails are deployed into the account. Users have least privileged access to be effective in their role. And the process of vending an account and having it ready to go that may have once taken weeks or even months has now been condensed into minutes with the power of Kion. Thank you for taking the time to join us for this demo. We hope you found it informative and see the value in Kion helping you rapidly scale cloud adoption as the future of cloud operations must be governed by default to reduce complexity, chaos, and busy work consuming teams. Please don't hesitate to reach out for a deeper dive product demo or for any questions that you may have.